What's happening YouTube? I'm Jake Billing and today we're looking at the AOVO ES Max Scooter. There's a pretty steep dirt bank behind me. I'm gonna fall off guys. Here's the path and here's the dirt bank. In this video, I'm gonna ride it. We're gonna test its range and its top speed. We're gonna check out the features of the scooter. And of course, I'm gonna try not to fall off of it. All right, my first ride on the ES Max scooter. Let's see how we get on on this thing. Hey. Here we go. Woo! All right, we're straight away. We're at 20 miles an hour. Not bad at all. And it's a smooth ride. It feels pretty sturdy. In the box, you'll get a charger, a manual, and two Allen keys. Make sure you download the AOVO Pro app for your smartphone so you can control this scooter on the go. This scooter is foldable, and I'll show you the mechanism in just a moment. But first, let's talk about the power system. We've got a 500 watt brushless motor here in this rear wheel. We've also got rear and front lighting, and there's rear and front suspension on this thing. Yeehaw! The weirdest part for me is it hasn't got a rear brake, but the electric assisted braking is fantastic. This ES Max model has a lithium ion 42 volt battery pack and it sits in the deck just here. It's rated at 14.5 amp hours and it can give you a maximum range of around 25 miles. Both the tires on this are 10 inches in diameter, they're air filled and they feature anti-puncture technology. Another cool feature about this particular model is the charge time. It only takes four to five hours. Oh, and if you're a chunky rider like myself, you'll be fine. This has a maximum rider weight of 120 kilos. Folding this scooter is really simple. Under the handlebars just here, there's a little lever. You press it down and the handlebars will release. Lift them up. Close the latch into place. And there's a little locking mechanism you turn just here. Done. Oh yeah, and this has a price tag of £460 and it was delivered in two working days. The hardest part is trying not to fall off while you're riding one-handed. So here we are, it's two degrees Celsius and you can tell how cold it is here in the UK just by how much frost is on these cars. Look at that. Now, let's have a look at the controls. First things first, let's turn it on. This button here is the accelerator. This lever here is a brake. This is a bell. If I double press the power button, it will change the speed modes. Standard, drive, and sport. Pressing this button once enables the lights. Get started by opening the AOVO Pro app. Allow it to join the scooter's Bluetooth connection. Go into settings, turn on cruise control if you want, and also zero start if you don't want to kick away, you want it just to pull away by itself. You've got the firmware update at the bottom, but for now let's go to advanced settings and let's check what it's set to. I've got the full speed response set for acceleration and 22 miles per hour as my top speed. So what I'll do guys, I'll put a link down below in the description box. If you find yourself interested in one of these ES Max scooters, just click on that link down below and it'll take you straight to AOVO Pro's website. Right, that is the end of this video today on the ES Max scooter from AOVO Pro. I must apologize for cutting this video slightly short. It is very cold out here. So I'm gonna head back inside shortly and warm up again. Before I do that, let's talk about what I like about the scooter and what I don't like about the scooter. 
First of all, suspension, tyres, excellent. Very smooth ride, very comfortable and very grippy. There's no issue there at all. Battery life, fantastic as well. I've covered nine miles today and we've still got half battery left. And bearing in mind I weigh over 105 kilos, that's not bad at all. The Bluetooth app, the controls, the braking system, it's pretty good actually. I was quite surprised at how well the front drum brake and the electronic assisted brake work on this. Even with a guy of my weight, it stops quite quickly. For this price point, you can't really go wrong. It's stable, sturdy, and it's built well, you know, and everything you need is included in the box. The one thing I wish was more powerful was the motor. It's not enough for my weight. At 105 kilos, it does struggle on the inclines. All right, so we're going up a hill now, and we are struggling quite significantly. We've got 10 miles an hour. The throttle is pinned, guys. The throttle is pinned. And, um... Yeah, if you're anything like me, you'll want a bit more power anyway because you're used to those more powerful scooters. But if you want a town scooter for flat riding, this is going to be absolutely fine. You're going to get from A to B without a hitch at all. See you next time guys, bye!